Today I'm going to talk about cleaning your suppressor baffles. K baffles on your suppressor. I have an aluminum suppressor, uh, aluminum baffles on my uh, suppressor. This is a Huntington Arms uh, Guardian 22. It's the, the one that the leaf is expensive one that they have. And like I say, it has aluminum baffles on the inside. It's real dirty. So this is the host also, Ruger SR22. Everything's there. Just wanted to see the whole setup. It's a nice little shooter. I enjoyed the light. But when I got around to cleaning it, I really couldn't find a lot of good answers on how to. So I thought I would go on the forums, get a few opinions on how some of the other guys clean theirs. Didn't find a lot of research on YouTube or anything. Had a people, a lot of people talk about it, but nobody actually showed the process. So what a lot of people came up with was, well, if you have stainless steel baffles, you can use what's called the dip. But you can't use the dip on aluminum baffles. So a lot of people came up with what they said they would do would be to soda blast it. And there's a lot of soda blasting kits out there from these cheaper companies, Northern Tools, Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has a, a whole big blue tube uh, canister and everything with its, with its own little small regulator on the side. You hook it up to your air compressor and for your blast media, which would be baking soda, industrial grade baking soda, uh, will probably be cheaper. You get it in a big bag, or you can go ahead and go to Costco and get like a huge box of Arm and Hammer, or if you just want to go ahead and go to the home, uh, go to the grocery store and get the regular box of Arm and Hammer. That'll work also. Um, but you can use this little kit here. I got this from Northern. It was like 30 bucks. So I was gonna go ahead and soda blast them and get it off that way. And then uh, someone mentioned, well, what I usually use is a rock tumbler, a little rotary drum tumbler, some water, and some Dawn dish detergent. I said, okay, that might be better because you don't have to sit there and do all of this work after you finish shooting. Last thing, uh, last thing you wanna do after you finish shooting is do all of this work. If you're like me, when I finish shooting, I clean my guns so that's about an hour and a half right there. Then I got to take another hour to clean the suppressor too. I was like, eh. So I saw Harbor Freight. They had this dual rotary rock tumbler. So we said, uh, so I, I went back to the farm and I asked him and he said, uh, yeah, just get you some stainless steel media and um, some water and some dye. Put your baffles in and run your rock tumbler for about four hours and you can make it. should be good. So I got on eBay, found me some uh, stainless steel media. Pop that open for you. Just little stainless steel pins like that. Uh, it was about two pounds for. <coughs> Twenty-three dollars shipped. <clears throat> um, man, the little pins—they look like they'll get in everywhere. So these are, the, I think, one of the best ones to get. They have like a jeweler's kit that has balls and other odd shapes, but uh, they look pretty big for the pictures. So I think the pins are probably the better ones to get. <clears throat> they look like they get into all the good cracks and crevices and everything good like that. So. Like I said, I got two pounds. Right now, I only suppressor I have in my possession is this 22. So I got the double drum because I have a couple of more that are still waiting on the paperwork to come back. So at least I have the room to clean more and I'll get more stainless steel media as time progresses. But for right now, this is what we're gonna work with. So here's my suppressor. Thought I'd do a video let everybody see how it's done because like I said I couldn't find anything on it so instead of just going ahead and doing it I'll put it out there for the world to see <laughs> so take you in take you away take your baffles the end caps off and what I found is that after a lot of shooting your baffles don't really fall out as easy as they used to so I want to remember 
which cap goes where. You know, you have one cap with the that goes to the threaded uh, to your threaded barrel, and then another cap where the where the bullet comes out. So, like I say, the baffles don't come out as easy as they used to. So, what I found is the best way for me is to take two big sockets, the biggest ones you can find that'll go into your suppressor. Uh, for me, it's 11 sixteenths and 17 millimeter. Put it on there. Rubber mallet. Hit it a couple of times. Loosen it up. Take it on the other side. Hit it. Loosen it up. Then go ahead and put the other one on there with an adapter. And just tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Get it all out. Works for me. Now, I've, these don't look too dirty right now because I tried to clean them. Uh, I'm going to insert a picture in here showing what they looked like before I tried to clean them before this. Uh, so even though I did try to clean them, they didn't come out as clean as I want. I didn't use the water in the dawn, I just used the media. So we're going to use the water in the dawn this time. So I didn't get any measurements on how much to use, so I'm just going to put a little water in there until I can see the water line over the media and it came up right up to the media maybe a little bit more so I just submerged all the media and I'm going to take some Dawn it's just regular dishwasher liquid and we'll pour it in you just say just a little bit of that so it doesn't take much and and there you have it. A little water, a little dawn. And I'm gonna just put the K baffles in. Nothing, nothing spectacular, great. Put it all back together. I believe this is waterproof. If it's not, you'll find out. <laughs> Doesn't really say. Does have a nice little grommet in on it, so it should relatively keep all the water in. Put it all back together and I'm going to go ahead and let this run for about four hours and then I'll come back and see where we're at then. Get this all nice and tight. And I don't really see anything dripping yet. But, so I put it on there. And start it up. Like I said, I'm going to let that run for about four hours. Uh, while that's running, I'll go ahead and try to clean these manually. These are the end caps. Uh, I'll go ahead and spray them down with something, some brake free, break free, or break out my little dental kit, my little picks, and try to go to work on them a little bit. Get up in those, oh yeah, that works good, actually. Get up in those corners. That worked real good, actually. Well, yeah, just use a little dental pick and try to clean this out a little bit as much as you can. I mean, you're not gonna get it, it's brand new anymore, but you can try to get some of that carbon build up out of there. Bad thing about shooting 22. Fun to shoot, it's cheap to shoot, so when you can find it, not a good price. But it's dirty as shit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do all of this. Uh, I'm gonna probably go, I wish I had one. If I had a 12 gauge bore brush or something, maybe it'd go up in there clean that out a little bit but I don't think I have one so I'm gonna just probably use a couple of washcloths see if I can get some powder blast up in there and clean that up a little bit but there you have it I'm gonna come back to you after four hours and uh, we're gonna take a look at these and see what they're looking like okay it's been about four and a half hours I'm gonna stop the tumbler and we'll see what we got going on Okay. 
should. Nice and soapy and sudsy and ooh, black soap. <laughs> you can see everything. company down here. What are you doing? Pop star. Okay, not too bad. Here's the number one baffle. Say it works pretty good, man. Um, like I said it wasn't a hundred percent, but it got them pretty clean. I can deal with that. My plan with this one here is to Huntertown Arms offers uh, what they call um, anything but stupid, <laughs> anything but stupid warranty. So, and they also let you. Um, if you have the aluminum baffles, I think they have a program where you can buy, you can trade them in for the stainless steel ones, or upgrade charge, of course. Um, I'm gonna end up doing that maybe later on down the line. So, they don't have to be 100% clean, just usable. I'm satisfied. See, I expect that one to be real bad, because that's the first one. And I'm guessing this, you know, as how, depending on how bad they are in line, I think that's how they are going to be. So I'm guessing this is the second one, third one. This will probably be the fourth one. And either one of those will be fifth or sixth. Because <laughs> they're the cleanest. So I'm going to put them back together that way. And, um,. See how it go, man. But I had to say, I'm impressed with the little rock tumbler. And all I had to do was set it and forget it. Come back a few hours later. Turn everything off and put it back together. And I know you can shoot the suppressors wet, but I've never shot it wet. And anyways, it goes. You don't really even have to do all that. So I said, I'm going to use that one first. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth and sixth. goes to the gun. By the one with the glass, little small glass table there. And the front K baffle here. Just run all back together. And it's done. Ready for another good day in the backyard. <laughs> I can't wait. If I didn't have to go to work today, I'd go do it now. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Get this dirty water out of here some kind of way. And um, put the little stainless steel media back in and have it ready for another time. Well, I'm satisfied. Man. It looks pretty good. Looks real good. So hey, 
either way you go, if you sandblast it, or if you go ahead and go with the rotary drummer, it's made by Harbor Freight. Could die on you next week, you never know, but <laughs> so far today it worked.